Good evening and welcome to my channel, Divine Healing Tarot. Well, today we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do a little energy check-in for the collective. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive all of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us all from evil. For thy is the power and the kingdom and the glory of heaven forever and ever. Amen. All right, let's see. What do we have for this beautiful 1111 portal? So far we have um, the Seven of Pentacles and the Hierophant card. So there's some um, very divine transformations coming in. Um, the, the burdens are being put down and the Seven of Pentacles represents good seeds that we're planting. So a lot of people are manifesting on 1111. <laughs> okay, what else do we have for the collective? What else do we have for my beautiful High Vibe Soul Tribe? I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Thank you all for my likes, shares, and subscribes. I sure do appreciate it. I'm one step closer to being a, a full-time content creator. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, you guys, what do we have? I'm here in Switch Decks, okay. Oh, we could also feel like um, some kind of energy is wanting to trap us or bring us down. And yeah, I was feeling some nasty energy with that. So I'm going to switch decks here. I'm going to switch it up. Switch it up. Okay. Let's do our Uno cards real quick. Okay. So with this situation, what is the actions that we need to be taking with the situation? Think of a situation in your head right now that you need guidance for. And we're going to get a couple cards on that. Okay. What is the actions? that we're needing to take. Okay. I'm hearing stop. <laughs> Just relax. Just stop. Okay. And then on bottom of the deck, we also have that too. So, um, Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. So whatever, um, you're doing, may, may that be, I'm really feeling overthinking. Okay. Maybe you're overthinking a situation. Um, don't do that. Don't just don't do that to yourself. Okay. <laughs> Whatever first comes to your head, whatever you're intuitively guided to, that is the decision, okay? So let's try not to overthink things. And this deck is all mixed up, of course. Okay, let's see here. Okay, it was only those cards. All right, let's see. We're gonna get some palm tree oracles. Palm tree oracles, what uh, situation are we dealing with? Heavenly Father, what situation are we dealing with? What is the situation? Give me two cards, please. Give me two cards for the collective. Give me two cards for the collective. Twin flame is and lightning is wanting to pop its head out. And then we have dragonfly, the transformation, okay? So, um, yeah, maybe you're in a situation with a very divine partner, like a divine soulmate, I'm hearing. And there's, there's this energy of overthinking, okay? We need to stop overthinking things, um, have more trust in God, have more trust in the divine that we're going to be okay, all right? May this be um, some kind of working on your own transformation and, yeah, stiff arming people that just don't serve your highest good, okay? Pull this down a little bit, okay? Yeah, may that be we're stiff arming some people. There we go. I just don't serve our highest good, or um. Oh, that's a lot. We got mirror again. <laughs> okay, we got the runner, and we got uh, wedding rings with a hammer. And separation, yeah, I was just saying that separation. So maybe we're dealing with a um, a very spiritual soulmate situation where we need to separate for a little bit. Stop overthinking the separation. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be bad. Okay. And remember what. What. Okay. Whatever belongs to us is if we set it free, it will always come back. Okay. If it's truly meant for us. Can, nothing that's truly meant for us could ever pass us by. Just remember that. Okay, especially here with union and the wedding rings. So I'm really feeling this is a divine twin flame relationship, okay? 
and I got twin flame here. I usually don't do that, but I am. Um, the whole aspect of runner chaser, I don't believe in that either. Okay, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. Okay, so there could be somebody here that is going through a transformation of, of learning that they don't have to run anymore. Okay, and, and I'm feeling like this is the person you're dealing with. Um, you're being asked to pull your energy back though. You're being asked to pull your energy back um, and, and take a look at a different perspective. If there's somebody, if you're in a relationship with somebody, okay, and they're wanting to run, um, let them go. Let them, let them run. Fly, little bird, fly, okay? Because what was meant for us can never pass us by. And obviously that person has some deep-rooted codependency issues or maybe they just grew up in a household that was very unstable and they're used to chaos and pain like I was saying before in my other readings and and you know that makes a person like whenever things are too good that makes a person that grew up in this kind of um, environment it makes them kind of uh, feel uncomfortable when things are too good or when things are going right or things are happy and content. Um, a person that has deep rooted issues that they need to heal before they could properly come into union and love you, they need to be let go so they could do that because it is not your job to fulfill somebody. It's not your job to heal somebody. Um, it's, it's not your job. It's not your karma. It's not your circus, not your monkeys. Okay. So let them go, and I promise you, look, we even got seven of, so, of pentacles on the bottom here too. Trust me when I say that when you let them go, then that's when everything from the universe is gonna start um, coming, into con coming into view, okay? Everything will fall together like, like dominoes. The things that are meant for you will come in for you. The, the teachings that are meant for them will come in for them. Okay, the lessons that they need to learn will come in for them. Clarify this runner or clarify this um, lightning card. This lightning is sudden change. Okay, lightning is sudden change. Yeah, have the strength to walk away. Okay, and then we got king of cups here. It doesn't mean that you don't love them because there is love here. There's love here on both sides. But you have to, if a person's wanting to go, let them go. So they could heal these, um, these page of swords. Oh, I thought it was seven of swords. So they can learn properly on what, um, things to heal from, from this, uh, five of pentacles in reverse, this, this codependent energy. Okay. You could also be dealing with a Leo cause I got the strength card here in reverse. So, and, and a toxic Leo, a toxic Leo, um, yeah, they, they have to, uh, be let go in order to see their selves with the mirror card here okay because you can't tell a leo anything uh, you could sit there and tell them until you're blue in the face all right um it's it nothing's gonna get through yeah nothing's gonna get through you can sit there ace of swords in reverse and tell them until they're blue in the face on what they need to do and what they need to heal but nothing's gonna get through yeah um, this person also could be a manipulator um uh, a liar Okay, there's some growing that this person has to do. There is some growing that this person has to do, big time. Okay, yeah, four of wands in reverse. Um, the, if you keep this person it's stuck by your side or if you um, chase them or go towards them, they're just going to keep running. It's, it's kind of like, you know, uh, when two magnets are trying to come together. The, the polarity is wrong. One has to be negative. One has to be positive for them to come together. If you're trying to put two positives together, it's just going to push and pull, push and pull. Okay. So, um, the more you push, the more they're going to go, the more that they push, the more you're going to go. It's, it's, there needs to be balance brought back to this situation. Okay. I got King of Cups. Can I just, oh, I got this again. All right. I'm going to keep that out. There is love here, but there's some kind of judgment that's coming in. And uh, honestly, this is not on your end. I'm, I'm really feeling the person that's watching me right now. This judgment is not on your end. This judgment's on their end. And they need to pause for perspection and heal some shit from their past. Yeah. Also, there could be a lack of work 
on this other person's part. They're not wanting to put in the effort that it takes to um, to work this out. Instead, they're just wanting to. They're just being very indecisive. Yeah. See, and then um, after you guys take the separation and stop being indecisive in your head, that's what I was getting like um, back and forth. Should I stay or should I go now? You know, um, yeah, the indecision is just going to stay there and the Ten of Swords is going to just stay there. This is like pain. You, you're not living a happy life. You're living a life in, in pain. And who wants to live that? All right, let's clarify. Let's get some clarifies on this, some guidance for this reading, please. Oh, look at that. Okay, the Queen of Cups and the Strength card. So I'm really feeling like this is your energy, collective, whoever I'm reading for, okay? Clarify this reading. Um, it says here, be open to receive healing and nurturing you need, all right? And then um, the person that you're dealing with is very aggressive, demanding, dramatic, um, abstinency, jealousy, deceit, and self-doubt. So this person needs to heal all these things about them, yeah. And then there's on... Um, on their end, there's grief, loss, self-pity, despair, disappointment, dis disillusionment, fear of risk, and mourning. So somebody also could be mourning um, something from their past and they're carrying it over into the present. And that's why you need to let this person go. Okay? Um, it says here too, don't let your focus close close you to new ideas. Okay? So keep your mind um, open. Uh, stay on course that's what i'm hearing stay on course okay um this is uh gonna be some kind of completion of karmic cycles so when you let this person go it's going to release you of of karmic past karmic uh cycles that were needing to be closed out all right so there's a form of of letting go be realistic be realistic do you where do you see yourself in five years with this person too. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I can tell you where I see you. <laughs> um, there is a king of pentacles here. So there's realistic solid solidarity, a uh, good character, intel intelligence, steady, reliable, and providing. So you are the provider. Whoever I'm talking to, you are the provider. Okay, um, yeah, this relationship is calling for balance and, and to bring in the partnership. Um, yeah, I got two things of balance here. It says balance twice on this card. So balance is needing to be restored before you guys could be happy. And the only thing that's going to bring in this balance is the justice. Okay, because whatever this person's been doing to you, it's not justice. It's not good. Okay, yeah. Justice will come in after a separation. Okay. This is for a twin flame. So the first reading is going to be for a twin flame. Your advice is to pull your pull your energy back. Okay, take a look from um, the a bigger perspective of the situation. Um, get get honest with yourself. Like um, honestly say like you know if is this person treating me the way I'm treating them? Is there balance in this relationship? Or is there pain that needs to be healed from a past toxic relationship? All right, now we're gonna get another reading for the collective. That one was for a person in a twin flame relationship. Next reading, what does the collective need to know? What is the situation? What is the situation? Thank you so much. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I sure appreciate it. What is this next situation for the collective? What is it that they need to know, Spirit? What is it that they need to know? Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Heart with a key, and I like you. Heart with a key, and I like you. Okay. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. Okay, so this is a different situation, you guys. This is for a person that is single out there, that has been single for a while, and that is open to new love, okay? That is properly knows how to manifest and love themselves, okay? So it says, I like you. Um, someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date, 
Okay, so this is for a single person out there. Okay, let me get some clarifiers. Some clarifiers. I'm feeling like, you know, you're, you went into hermit mode. You went into that self-realization mode. Um, you have properly healed from a past relationship. Um, this is not going to be for all of you. Maybe this is only for a few of you. Maybe somebody, um, partner had passed away. I'm also hearing that they are always with you and they want you to move on. That is what I'm hearing loud and clear. And then something just flew by. That's confirmation to me. Um, yes, they, they want you to move on. They're always with you and they just want to see you happy. So stop crying, stop crying about them and, and get out of the house. And look what I have the angel. So they are with you. They're constantly with you and watching over you. I'm hearing they're your guardian angel. Okay. And now they're wanting you to move on. So I'm really feeling too, like they're bringing in somebody that's perfect for you because they know, they know what you deserve. They know who you like and stuff like that. So they're bringing somebody in for you. All right. Let me clarify this heart with a key meeting the one. Who is this person? Okay, how will this play out? How will this play out? How will this play out? Okay. It's going to be very slow moving. Okay. Okay. It's going to be very, very slow moving. Because Knight of, so Knight of Wands here, and they're also not a player at all. This is your um, justice. This is the judgment. This is the card of um, you deserve this. Okay. You've been through a lot. You deserve this. And when you least expect it and you just give your hand, throw it up to God and least expect it, that's when it comes into a pentacles in reverse. There will be um, a victory here. There will be a victory. People are noticing you. Okay. Um, yeah, you're not, you're not bound on, or anxiety mode anymore. You're wanting, you properly healed. Well, congratulations. Cause you know what? That's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. What else do we have for this second message for this second message? What do we have? Justice. Okay. Queen of swords. So this relationship has taught this past relationship the one that has um, you were in before this, they don't have to be passed away, okay? It could have just been a, a relationship that you had a very strong spiritual connection to. Um, all right, uh, the, the Queen of Swords here, you have learned so much. You have learned so much. And I'm really feeling too that it was meant to happen this way so then you can learn certain lessons about yourself that you needed to learn like boundaries or how to be um, strong and stand in your power. Um, not being a doormat or a pushover for people. Yeah, see? It was also there to open your intuition with the high priestess here. And to so you could see these liars, cheaters, and thieves. Like you can feel their energy coming from a mile away, I'm hearing. Okay, your intuition is on point. Your intuition's open. All right, let's get... Um, Let's get some messages from this one. Okay. We'll get some guidance, some guidance. So there is somebody coming in for you. Okay. If what, what is a good message from your higher self? What's some guidance from your higher self? What's a good message from your higher self to guide you on this, on this decision or on this path, on this journey? What is a, a, a message from your higher self? Okay, let's see here. Please don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I'd sure appreciate it. Thank you. What is some guidance from your higher self? Okay, thank you. We got transition. Okay, so you can be transitioning. You can very well be transitioning from a person from um, the past that you were really in love with. Okay, and, and, and you were... You're able to get out of that now and you're, you're ready for things to come in and transition, transition from old to new. Okay. You must pay attention to the signs around you. Okay. So for instance, because today is 11, 11, um, 
Whenever you see 111 or 1111, may that be a license plate, may that be anything, okay? Angel numbers, I really believe in angel numbers. And especially whenever it comes to talking to somebody from the past that has passed away, okay? Um, I come, I, I speak of this from experience as well, because five years ago, my ex, um, James Smith, he passed away. And I feel him closer than ever. Like I could talk to him all the time. And he tells me all the time, you need to get out there. You need to start dating. You need to move on. Like you need to do this. You know, I hear this all the time. As a matter of fact, he's the reason why I got into tarot because I wanted to be able to communicate with him. Well, now I don't even need the cards. <laughs> it's such a powerful connection. I don't even need the cards. And he's like my best friend in the spirit realm though. And I know that sounds really weird to a lot of people, but that's my story. And I'm sorry, but that's my, that's my get down. And so, um, I'm really feeling like this could be either your situation or this person from your past could be alive and they just want you to really focus on on your healing and 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 moving on and finding peace and happiness okay this could also be um, um, maybe a baby's dad or a baby's mom that you're moving on from that's still alive and they the, and you guys still talk and your friends and stuff they want you to start dating they want to see you with somebody they want to see you happy they don't like it whenever you're just sitting on the couch you know watching the football game or the news every single day and you're not getting out and you're just you know whatever so we need to start getting out we need to start doing things um it says here uh pay attention to the signs around you okay um the transition may seem frightening at first but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your high, higher calling. They could only hinder your growth, okay? So that's also what I was feeling. Like you need to get off the couch, you need to start, you know, if you like to go shooting, go shooting or fishing, or, you know, um, I was just looking up the other day, um, some adventures and things that I could do with my son, you know, in the winter time coming up because there's not going to be very much you could do with a bunch of snow on the ground. So, um, I was really kind of um, looking up like ice fishing. Okay. So I've never been ice fishing and I want to try it. And so, you know, there's just little things that you can do like that or, or get out and go to the movies or, you know, just get out and go for a nice walk. You don't even have to go anywhere in particular. Just get out and go for a nice walk. Okay, let's see. What am I feeling? What is what is going on with this new person coming in? I want to get some more information on this. Let's get nosy, shall we? Okay, what do we got for this new person? This new person coming in? What is this new person coming in? Oh, oh they're going to be very flirtatious very flirtatious you are not going to wonder does this person find me attractive is this person digging me like what's going on here okay you also um your base chakra choose only positive thoughts to describe your home career and finances as your words determine your outcome okay this is manifestation power 101 okay so make sure that you use a good descriptive words what are you pot what are you thankful for Okay, it could be the little things. I'm thankful for the roof over my head, the clothes on my back, and the food in my stomach. I'm grateful for the sunshine coming in and warming my face. You know, I'm grateful for my son, my family, my daughters, my grandkids, my son in law. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything I have in life. This is what we need to be saying every single day, like looking in the mirror saying this. Okay, and then it says windfall of abundance. So you do have some kind of money coming in. Okay, an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receive and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and celebrate your work. So there's something about you have a very distinctive purpose. Okay, and this person coming in, you guys meet on the same wavelength. Like you guys vibrate at the same kind of energy. That's what I'm hearing. And that's what's attracting you. Light workers, I knew it. You guys are light workers. <laughs> you guys have a very, very powerful purpose in life. People look up to you. You guys are going to be a power couple. That's what I'm hearing. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love, loving services to the divine. That's beautiful. And then we got this whole stack of cards right here that decided to fall out. So here we go. 
Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Ascended masters. You guys are definitely um, some very powerful spiritual people, okay? That's all I got to say. Whoever's coming in for you is extremely gifted, extremely psychic, extremely intuitive. Yeah, I even got the high priestess card here. Um, you guys are both very gifted. And it's like I hear that you have a healing touch, okay? You, you heal people. You could give somebody a handshake or a hug or something, and it does something to their vibrational frequency. It, it, it vibrates. You, it vibrates in a way where you can heal the deepest rooted issues, okay? Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. Okay, so like I was also hearing, there's some people also in the spirit realm that are also protecting you, guiding you at this time. And new love, confirmation. This is a new love. This is a person that you have not met yet. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, or they will be very soon. Okay, oh, what did I just say? <laughs> I just... I just looked at it very, or they will be very soon. And then very soon came out confirmation. <laughs> Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 1111 portal manifestation. Here we go. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Okay. Crystals. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love crystals. I love anything that's shiny. I'm sorry. I just squirrel. <laughs> The energy of crystal supports you and helps with your present situation. And then we got be willing to forgive. So we have to forgive the past in order for us to move on with our future as well. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body and past pain in exchange for peacefulness. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I will get on here later with some Zodiac readings. And thank you for all my likes, shares, and subscribes. It is much appreciated. Um, once I, I found out once I hit 1,000, I'll be able to go live. But once I hit 500, something else happens too. So I don't know. It's just going to be a surprise. As soon as I do hit 500, I got something special for you guys. <laughs> all right, I love you so much. Please be safe out there and God bless. Peace.